Oh, hello. Welcome to my classroom. Uh, so this is something I've mentioned in the past, but not really something that I've uh, done a complete video about. So this is my job, or at least my room of where I do my job right now. So things are obviously different right now. Uh, schools are not, in, most schools here in California are not in uh, school time full time. We do an AM PM schedule here. And my job, my specific title is Technology Instructional Assistant. You can see what the kids call me up there, Mr. Sean. But basically, uh, when we are in full time school, I go to classrooms, teach technology lessons about using Chromebooks. We are a one to one Chromebook school, which means that every kid has access to a Chromebook. Uh, but right now, I'm mostly helping out with the school, doing tech support, making sure that all the teachers' technology is working, especially if they're on Zoom. And then sometimes I'll help out with Chromebooks if students need help logging in or needing a new one. If they break one, they do break a lot. We've had broken screens, broken keyboards, broken trackpads, broken covers, uh, you name it. Kids will do anything. Uh, and then I run Zoom meetings two a day for students to learn about technology stuff. The same, what they similar, something similar to what they'd get if uh, I were coming to their classrooms like normal. So let's take you guys through uh, what my my room looks like, my computer lab. This is actually my computer lab. So first behind me is my battle station, or what I might call my battle station. So uh, just like my home setup, I have my two screens. I have a decent desktop. It's all school stuff, so VGA monitors and uh, a old junky Logitech and Dell keyboard and mouse setup. So nothing special, but it does get work done. I can access my Google Classrooms and make slideshows and record videos and all that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, behind me there is a this is my two Chromebook carts. I'm holding Chromebooks for like uh, when the kindergartners come in here or when students come in here for a computer lab, which I haven't done for a long time. I'm missing that. So I also have my side table here, which has different levels of messiness depending on the day of the week. So some days I, you know, I can set up a laptop here and work on a bit editing a video for leadership. I could have a, a Chromebook open and taking it taking it apart to try and diagnose it, or adding more ROM, a RAM to a a laptop, or I could be uh, soldering stuff for no reason, or taking apart a mouse because it's broken, and I want to show kids the interior parts of how it works. Now, the state of California and our school district supplied many many classrooms this year with Big View Sonic, so big touchscreen 4K screen computers with uh, Windows machines built in to uh, most classrooms. I don't I didn't have one here since I already have a bunch of technology and computers in here that I can manage without that sort of stuff. And plus, uh, they're mostly being used in classrooms anyways and for Zoom. So I just have the projector up there on a, projecting onto a whiteboard. A lot of teachers would actually abandon their old desktops and monitors and setups there. So I'm kind of uh, holding those for right now until I can find a better place for them. Where am I? I could be here. I could be there. I don't know where I'm going to be until I'm, ed I'm editing this in a little bit. So this is actually our green screen. So I'm a little bit too close. I'm casting a shadow. But basically, uh, one of my extra duties is kind of an extracurricular thing called leadership. So with the leadership kids, groups of fourth and fifth graders, we make videos and work on the yearbook and just do general stuff to help out the school and kind of have these kids uh, work on different skills, uh, being role models and that type of stuff. This is where we record them. So uh, we make uh, one video each week and due to our kind of speed and the technical skills of, you know, fourth or fifth graders, they're 9, 10, 11 years old, you know, we kind of move fast. So things like memorizing scripts isn't isn't really in the cards. So I built this. I'm gonna turn around the screen here. But basically, this is our teleprompter. Uh, it is, it went to sleep right here. So this is made up of three parts. I have a box, I have an old screen. This is just a regular computer monitor, VGA. And then a $2 piece of glass, it's hard to see here, from, uh, from a picture frame I got from the thrift store. 
So basically how this works is you hook it up a computer, it displays on the monitor, and then it reflects off this, and so when you view it, from the back here, in this hole, the mic's in the way so it's not going to fit all the way, kids can read off, or anyone on that side can read off the script while looking directly at the camera. Behind me is the ball of yearbook stuff. So uh, I work as the yearbook advisor for this school, obviously as part of leadership. The leadership kids helped me put it together. This year was kind of tough because our our picture day was so late because COVID didn't let us uh, gather everyone together and take off masks for that sort of stuff. It was kind of a mess, but you know, we got it done. So about two years ago, uh, with our previous principal, uh, he retired, sort of. Uh, I got an email from him uh, saying, hey, apply for this grant. And you know what I did? I applied for it and I got it. And that grant allowed us to get two 3D printers. This is our 3D printing lab. While I say this is my pride and joy, it's also my, my biggest nightmare. Uh, the kids definitely do enjoy this and I'm actually running a lesson later this week that we'll be using these 3D printers. These are Affinia H400s. They're out of all the, well, these are the only 3D printers I've used, but uh, I don't know if I'd call these the best 3D printers on the market. They're definitely work wonderful for the school and allow uh, them to print here without kids sticking their fingers into the print zone and burning themselves on the, the extruder. But we have two of them. Uh, we have a bunch of filament down below. But basically, 3D printing and going through the creation process on their Chromebooks of creating 3D models and then turning those 3D models into something that they can hold in their hands is basically a huge, wonderful hands-on lesson that I teach some of the year. So this is one of those things I might do on any given day where, you know, I'm done with a Zoom lesson and, you know, I've fixed all the problems, no calls are coming in from the tech line that I help with, and it's something like this. So this laptop here, a teacher had it at home and she said that uh, the screen burned out. I have no idea what that means. Uh, never experienced that thing specifically, but it does turn on. So, you know, uh, who knows? But it does have eight gigabytes of RAM and an SSD, which is uh, a lot better than like 90% of the laptops we have here. I, I remember we have these old Dells. We've had a lot of these. I've gotten rid of most of them since then, since they're mostly unupgradable. Like I tried to install more than four gigabytes of RAM in one of these, and that was a huge mistake. It crashed multiple times in the row, giving me a different blue screen code each time. So, uh, there's no help luck with these. So this laptop, however, has six gigabytes of RAM. It's wonderful having mixed match sticks of RAM. That's great for your speed. And then it also has an old regular spinning hard drive, which means it is very slow. Take the good stuff out of this one, put it into this one, re-image it, and then we should have a computer that uh, will work slightly better. Let's do it like uh, one of those uh, beauty guru YouTubes. Hey, I I told you I'm I'm good at I'm good at YouTube. I, or at least I've watched a lot of YouTube. So you know that if you uh, get done fixing something and you have hardware left over, that just means that you did a better job of uh, putting it back together than the hard than the factory did. So with all that being shown, unfortunately, I won't be in this room much longer. So the school district really wants to be back full time next year here in California and in, in this specific county. And 
uh, you know, our restrictions are loosening, but still we need to have things like lesser class size. So next year, this class is going to be replaced by a full classroom, or at least a, a smaller size classroom, so that the other two classes in the grade are going to be slightly smaller. So I am uh, kind of moving out of here. I'm downsizing and moving in with the, into the music room with the teacher in there. You can see in the background that my uh, posters are already coming down. Don't ask me why I have uh, three maps of the world in this room. It's just something I've been collecting. But yeah, I am moving out, and I will say goodbye to this room. You can see in the background that this was, in fact, a different, even different room before I moved in here. This used to be a kindergarten, then a pre-TK kindergarten class. And then I moved in here and didn't really repaint it, except for this back wall. And it looks good from right here with uh, the, the stripey pattern. But if you get real up, up close to it, the texture of these walls does not uh, do well for the, the paint. But that's a whole different story. And after I move out, I really won't have to see it again. So if it's your first time here and you want to see more of me, more about writing, more about uh, educational technology, definitely leave me a uh, like on this video and add a subscription. We're building the channel right now. I'm coming back. We're going to be vlogging more. Just today I had already three kids in here trying to get their Chromebooks working. So you know, it's only Monday morning and things are moving fast. So looking forward to the rest of the week.